Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Jo here, I hope you're all well and for today's video I've got a miniature steampunk hat, I've made this for my doll repaint that I'm in the middle of doing and this is my first doll repaint that I've ever done and I realised that if I did it all in one video it would be too long so there are a few bits I'm going to do separately and the hat was the first bit so I hope you enjoyed today's video guys, if you like it give it a thumbs up, if you leave a comment I will reply and if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me then it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends so to start off with i'm going to use some old cardboard from some food packaging and i love to recycle the more i can recycle the better i feel and i'm going to use a tub to draw my template which is going to be a four and a half inch diameter circle i'm going to do three of these and then cut them out and then once i've cut all three out i'm going to glue all of them together to get the thickness that i want and i'm just using pva glue and a brush to do this i'm going to let them dry and i want them to be quite thick so that I can bend it slightly and it will stay in the shape that I want. Once they're dry I'm going to take a roll of sellotape and pop this in the centre and then use this as a template to cut the centre out. Like I said this is going to be the rim of the hat and I could have cut them beforehand and then glued them together but I just thought it'd be easier and it would be neater to do it this way so I'm just going to take my time and cut out the centre. Now that I've got the base for the rim of the hat, I've taken some old leather. This is from a jacket that I used when I made my steampunk balloon. And I'm just going to trace around this twice. So I've got a piece for the top and a piece for the bottom. And then I'm just going to cut this out with a pair of scissors. Then once my pieces are cut out, I'm using Yoohoo glue and a brush and I'm just going to glue one to the top of the cardboard and one to the bottom. So for the centre of the hat I'm using some A4 white card and I've measured out a rectangle and this is three and a half inches high by 24 centimetres long. I'm going to do three of these and then glue them together using PVA glue like I did the rim of the hat and this is a bit longer than it needs to be but I can cut it down to size once I know the exact length. Once I've got my three sheets glued together, I didn't let them dry, I bent them while they were still wet and then just rolled it up to make sure that it all fits inside the rim of the hat. I then cut a piece of leather the same size of the strip of card and I'm going to glue this in place using Yoohoo glue the same way that I glued the rims together. And then once it's dry, I'm just going to pop it in the centre of the rim, making sure that there's no gaps and it's nice and flush to the rim of the hat and then just using a little bit of hot glue I'm going to glue this into the shape that I want. Once I'm happy with the shape and it fits nice and neatly, I'm going to add some glue to the inside of the rim and then glue the two pieces together. I then cut a circle out the same diameter as the top of the hat and I did one thickness of card and then some leather. I want it to fit quite flush to the top of the hat. Then I'm just going to glue this in place.
I also slightly bent the hat into the shape that I wanted, the rim, and now to hide the edges, I'm going to use the last of my gold tile tape. I've been using this in loads of different projects. I love this stuff. It's from AliExpress. It's self-adhesive. And I'm just going to put this around the edge of the hat. You could use anything that you wanted. You could use ribbon. You could use a piece of the leather that you've used on your hat, whatever you've got, just to finish that edge off and make it nice and neat. I wanted a pop of gold so this was ideal and like I said it was the last bit that I had so I used it in this and yeah I'm just going to glue it all the way around the edge <laughs> I then cut out a strip of black leather and this is from an old skirt that I picked up in a charity shop and I'm just going to glue this around the base of the center of the hat to create a little bit more detail starting at the back and working my way around the front. <laughs> Then to add a little bit of detail, I'm using these little metal buckles that I picked up from AliExpress and I showed them in my last AliExpress haul, paid a couple of pounds for them and I'm using some ribbon also from AliExpress, it's 6mm wide and I'm just threading the ribbon through the buckle. And then I'm going to add two of these, one to the top of the black strip of leather and then one to the bottom of the black strip of leather as well to add some more detail. <laughs> Once my ribbons and buckles are in place, I'm going to add some more details. I'm going to use some feathers that I got from AliExpress and these are just in plain black and I'm going to put them on the opposite side to where the buckles are. I'm going to add a few to start off with and then I'll add some more a little bit later on just using some hot glue. But obviously you can decorate this in any way that you want, in any style that you want and colours. I'm just using steampunk related stuff so that it'll tie in with my doll repaint. Once I'm happy with a few feathers, I've got these little cogs that I also got from AliExpress. I think I paid one pound, less than one pound thirty for a pack of sixty, and I bought three packs because I know I'm going to use them in future projects. And I'm just going to glue a few of these again using hot glue to the side where the feathers are, just to create a little bit more detail. <laughs> Like so and I will add a few more in a little bit but I'm going to add some more feathers now to the side and when the hat's on the doll it's not going to be on the top of the head it's going to be to the side so I want the feathers to cascade down over her hair so I'm going to put a few more feathers over the side of the hat. <laughs>
like I said before, I like to recycle. So I have bags of old jewellery that I don't use. And I went through it and I managed to find a watch that no longer works. So I've took the strap off and I'm just attaching it to a washer. And then I'm going to glue this to the side of the hat in front of the feathers at the bottom. And this will hide all the glue. And it'll also mean I've got something to stick the feathers to so I can get it in the position that I want. So once that is dry, I'm just going to use a bit of glue at the back and then glue the feathers in place where I want them. Then in my bags of jewellery I found this braided leather necklace and I'm just going to pop this around the top of the black leather just to finish it off and make it look a little bit neater. So now I've got these little chains that I got from AliExpress. I think I paid a pound for 2.5 yards. You got a lot for a pound and I did get some in gold and some bronze. I'm actually only going to use the gold in this one. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue underneath the leather braid that I've just put in place and then pop the chain where I want it. And I'm going to have a couple of pieces um, hanging from the front. And yeah, it, this was the fiddliest bit that I did. I wanted to make sure that it looked nice and neat and it was all hidden. So so just cutting them to the length that I want and then gluing them in place. Then once my chains were in place, I'm going to use the leftover plaited leather around the bottom of the hat just to hide where the gold chains are glued in place. And then to hide where I glued all the chains at the top, I'm just going to stick another cog over the top to hide all the glue. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a few small cogs around the outside of the watch face and then we're finished.
And here is my little steampunk hat. It looks so good on the doll. I wish I could show you, but it would ruin the surprise of the doll. So for now, it's just the hat. I am going to start the next part, which I will do next week. And I'm going to do some little travel cases that I want to do for her so that she's got a foot on them. And I think they're going to look super cute. So that's going to be in my next video that's going to be doll related. So I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it's given you some ideas. You could make this in full size if you were going to fancy dress or you can make them miniature you could do them in any style that you want and i hope you've liked it guys so i will see you on thursday for my next video till then take care